Welcome students. Last episode, we discussed the DNA damage and repair mechanism. In this episode, we discuss the transcription factors which are involved in the transcription of RNA. First of all, what is mean by transcription factor? Transcription factors are DNA binding proteins that play a key role in gene transcription. They are modular in structure and heterodimeric built within the transcription factor is a DNA binding domain and several sites for the other transcription co-regulators to bind. Transcription factors bind to short conserved sequences located within each promoter along the strands of DNA. Ultimately, transcription factors can be thought of as a gatekeepers that determine if a gene is expressed or not. A major distinction between transcription in prokaryotes and eukaryotes is the recommend in eukaryotes for a large variety of accessory proteins called transcription factors. These proteins play a role in virtually every aspects of the transcription process from the binding of the polymerase to the DNA template to the initiation of transcription to its elongation and termination. General transcription factors All eukaryotic mRNA precursors are synthesized by RNA polymerase to an enzyme composed of a dozen different subunits that is remarkably conserved from yeast to mammals. RNA polymerase 2 binds the promoter with the cooperation of the number of general transcription factors that is GTFS to form a pre-initiation complex that is PIC. The first step is assembly of the pre-initiation complex is binding of a protein called Tata binding protein. TBP that recognizes the Tata box of those promoters. Tata binding protein is present as a subunit of much larger protein complex called TF2D transcriptional factor for polymerase 2 fraction D. Function of transcription factors. The principal role transcription factors play is in allowing cells to differentiate through their ability to initiate or repress site specific transcription, each cell in our bodies can differentiate into different cell types despite containing the same exact genetic code. Turning genes or allows cells to potentiate into the different tissues and organs that make up our bodies. Transcription factors also make genetic fine tuning possible. Modulating the activity and the amount of transcription factor can up regulate that is increase or down regulate that is decrease the rate of the chosen gene transcription. Therefore, this alteration not only allow a gene to be expressed but they determine at which level each gene is expressed. For example, when the insulin levels in our blood are elevated, our cells trigger a down regulation in the expression of insulin receptor. So, although insulin receptor continue to be made for life sustaining purpose, the level of expression subsides to accommodate our body's new internal conditions. The pre-initiation complex contains polymerase to six general transcription factors that is transcription factors factor polymerase 2A, transcription factors polymerase 2B, 2D, 2E, 2F and 2H. Transcription factors and polymerase bind the pre-initiation complex in a specific order. The structure and function of transcription factor polymerase 2D. The transcription factor polymerase 2D contains several subunits Tata box binding protein TBP. This binds to the magic group of a Tata box that a saddle shaped Tata box binding protein lines up with DNA. Underside of the saddle forces open the minor group. The Tata box is bent into 80 degree curve to 8 to 10 copies of Tata box binding protein associated factors specific for class 2. The function of transcription factor polymerase 2b has been cloned and expressed by Reinberg et al. The transcription factor 2b binds to Tata box binding protein at the Tata box via its C terminal domain. It also binds to polymerase 2 via its N terminal domain. The function of transcription factor 2f is record of polymerase 2 to the existing DNA transcription factor 2D to B complex. Position of polymerase 2 over the start side 
which binds to the non-template DNA strand. Transcription factor polymerase 2F also reduces non-specific binding of RNA polymerase 2 to DNA. Transcription factor polymerase 2E. The transcription factor polymerase 2E is a heterotetrameric protein which acts as a the function of transcription factor 2E appears to create the docking site for the next transcriptic factor. Transcription factor polymerase 2E also modulates transcription factor polymerase 2H enzymatic activities. In addition, transcription factor polymerase 2E enhances promoter melting. Transcription factor 2H The transcription factor 2H is a multimeric protein composed of 9 subunits some of them with distinct enzymatic activities. The transcription factor 2H is the last general transcription factor to join the pre-initiation complex. The function of transcription factor polymerase 2H has a helicase activity which unwinds the DNA duplex at the start site allowing polymerase 2 to bind the template strand. The transcription factor polymerase 2H also has a kinase activity it will phosphorylate polymerase 3 in the beginning of elongation. Transcription factor polymerase 2A For transcription in vivo, another factor, transcription factor polymerase 2A is required. The function of this transcription factor is somewhat unclear, but it might help the other factor to bind. The transcription factor polymerase 2A has also shown to have some anti-repressor function. It is also not required for transcription in vitro transcription binding protein associated factor these are also called taf which contains eight different proteins are designated most are evolutionary conserved in eukaryotes several functions of transcription binding protein associated factors are interaction with the co-promoter elements interaction with gene specific transcription factors when attached to transcription binding protein extended the binding of transcription factor polymerase 2D beyond the TOTA box. Transcription factors are able to bind to specific sets of short conserved sequence containing in each promoter. Some of these elements and factors are common are found in variety of promoters and used consecutively. Others are specific and their use is regulated. The factor that assists RNA polymerase 3 can be divided into three general groups. The general factor which are required for the initiation of RNA synthesis at all class 2 promoters. With RNA polymerase 3, they form a complex surrounding the transcription start point and they are determine the site of initiation. This complex constitutes the basal transcription apparatus. The upstream factors which are DNA binding protein that recognize specific short consequence elements located upstream the transcription start point. These factors are ubiquitous and act upon any promoter that contain the appropriate binding site on DNA. They increase the efficiency of initiation. The inducible factors. The inducible factors which function in the same general way as the upstream factor but have a regulatory role. They are synthesized or activated at specific times and in specific tissues. The sequence that they bind are called response elements. Transcription factor families. Common type of factors that are responsible for binding to DNA can be found in different transcription factors. There are several groups of protein that regulate transcription by using particular motifs to bind DNA. First one is helix turn helix protein. The helix turn helix protein was originally identified as the DNA binding domain of phage repressor. One helix lies in the wide groove of DNA, the other lies at an angle cross DNA. A related form of the protein is present in the homeodomain, a sequence first characterized in several proteins encoded by gene concerned with developmental regulation in Drosophila. It is also present in gene coding for mammalian transcription factors. The homo box is a sequence that code for a domain of 60 amino acid. The homo domain is responsible for binding to DNA. The specificity of DNA recognition lies within the homo domain. Its C terminal region shows homology with the helix turn helix motif of prokaryotic repressors. Zinc finger proteins. 
the zinc finger proteins comprises a DNA binding domain. It was originally found in the factor transcription factor polymerase 3A, which is required for the RNA polymerase 3 to transcribe 5S or RNA genes. These proteins take their name from their structure in which a small group of conserved amino acid binds to a zinc ion. Two type of DNA binding protein have structures of this type. The classic zinc finger proteins under the steroid a finger protein typically has a series of zinc fingers. The consequences sequence of a single finger is cysteine X2, cysteine X3, leucine S2, histine S, X3 and histine. The motif takes its name from the loop of amino acids that protrudes from zinc binding site and is described as the cysteine His finger. The fingers are usually organized as a single series of tandem repeats. The stretch of finger ranges from 9 repeats that occupy almost the entire protein as in transcription factor polymerase 3A. To provide just one small domain consisting on two fingers, the general description factor SP1 has a DNA binding domain that consists of three zinc fingers. The C-terminal part of each forms helicase the bind DNA. The N-terminal part forms sheets the non-conserved amino acid in the C-terminal side of of each finger are responsible for recognizing specific target sites. Steroid receptors which are activated by binding a particular steroid example glucocorticoids, thyroid hormone, retinoic acid and some other proteins have another type of finger. The structure is based on a sequence with the zinc binding consequences. These are called cysteine cysteine fingers. Proteins with cysteine cysteine fingers often have non-repetitive fingers in contrast with the tandem repetition of cysteine histine type. Binding sites on DNA are usually short and palindromic. The glucocorticoid and estrogen receptors each have two fingers that form helicase that fold together to form a large globular domain. Third one is leucine zipper proteins. Leucine zipper is a stretch of amino acid rich in leucine residues that provides a dimerization motif. Dimerization allows the justa portion of the DNA binding regions of each subunit, a leucine zipper forms an amphiphatic helix in which the leucines of the zipper on one protein could protrude the helix and interdigitate with the leucines of zipper of another protein in parallel to form a coiled coil domain. The region adjacent to the leucine repeats is highly basic in each of the zipper proteins and could comprise a DNA binding site. The two leucine zippers in effective form a y-shaped structure in which the zipper comprise the stem to basic region to form the arms that bind to DNA. This is known as the B-zip structural motif. It explains why the target sequences for such proteins are inverted repeats with no separation. Zippers may be used to sponsor the formation of homodimers to heterodimers. There are four repeats in the protein binds C bar EBP binds as a dimer to both the cat box and the SV40 core enhancer and five repeats in the factors and which forms the heterodimeric transcription factor AP1. The fourth one is helix loop helix protein. The amphipathic helix loop helix motif has been identified in some developmental regulators and in genes coding for eukaryotic DNA binding proteins. The protein that have his motif have both the ability to bind DNA and to dimerize. They share a common type of sequence motif. A stretch of 40 to 50 amino acids contains two amphipathic helix separated by a linker region of varying length. The protein in this group form both homodimers and heterodimers by means of interaction between the hydrophobic residue on the corresponding phases of the two helix. The ability to form dimers resides with this amphipathic helix and is common to all HLH proteins. Most helix loop helix proteins contain a region adjacent to the helix loop helix motif itself that is highly basic and which is needed for binding 
into DNA. Members of the group with such a region are called B helix loop helix protein. A dimer in which both subunits have the basic region can bind to DNA. The binding helix loop helix protein fall into two general groups. Class A consists of protein that are ubiquitously expressed including mammalian E12, E47. Class B consists of protein that are expressed in a tissue specific manner including mammalian MYOD, MYFI, myogenin and MRF4. A group of transcription factors that are involved in myogenesis called myogenic regulatory factors MRF. Yes. A common modus for a tissue specific B helix loop helix protein may be to form a heterodimer with a ubiquitous partner. There is also a group of gene products that specify development of the nervous system in Drosophila melanogaster. The proteins form a separate class of B helix loop helix proteins. The transcription factor is a sequence specific DNA binding factor that controls the rate of transcription by promoting or blocking the requirement of RNA polymerase. Regulatory mechanism of transcription factors include stabilize or block RNA polymerase association with DNA, catalyze directly or by requirement acetylation or deacetylation of histone, recruit coactivator or co-repressor protein to the complex. The activation of transcription factors may be activated or deactivated by ligand binding to sensing domain that is hormone receptors. Chemical modification example STAT proteins must be phosphorylated to bind DNA. Beta scaffold with minor groove contacts. Examples of this is Tata binding protein that is TBP uses a large beta sheet surface to recognize DNA by binding in the minor groove. Binding induces significant changes in the DNA structure. The binding of Tata binding protein directs assembly of the initiation complex by added addition of several gene transcription factors and RNA polymerase 2. Multiple transcription factor binding sites regulate eukaryotic transcription. In addition to pre-initiation complex assembly site, the other transcription factor binding site close to the Tata box play a role in transcription. Some transcription factors are regulated by signaling Mo molecules regulated by signaling molecules example hormones or chemical modification example phosphorylation. Other proteins can bridge between the transcription factor and the pre initiation complex rather than the transcription factor direct interaction. Requirement of histone remodeling enzymes example CBP P300 complex has histone acetylase enzyme activity which modify chromatin structure. Enhancer element bind transcription factors that activate transcription by increasing the rate of assembly of the pre-initiation complex. This is all about the transcription factors. In summarizing this episode, a number of protein recognize DNA using a variety of structural motif. Dimeric interaction, palindromes, flexibility of structure, both the DNA and the protein, sequence specific motif includes zinc fingers, leucine zippers, Tata binding protein. Transcription factors regulate transcription through binding certain DNA regions and involve interactions with the other proteins. RNA polymerase recognition of DNA during transcription involves a promoter region and a multi subunit complex to conduct a complex process that is unwinding DNA RNA elongation accurate translation of DNA via proofreading. Numerous protein involved in regulation of transcription include CBP, SP1, etc. Thus, we concluded this episode and we will discuss the new topic RNA editing, splicing and polyadenylation in the next episode. Thank you.